Hey, what's up you guys? This is Perry the Entertainer here back again for another video. And in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys a video response to a friend of mine, Tough Tony ANT. He uh he gave his uh <clears throat> thoughts on Randy Orton and uh his rumors about him going to TNA and everything after if uh he screws up one more time, which, you know, like I said, got or well, I didn't say it yet, but this is a custom wallpaper. You can find it on Google. Just type in TNA Randy Orton. And it'll be like the what tenth result that shows up. So you guys can get that. It's a f custom wallpaper. It's fake. I'm letting you guys know that now. That's why. <clears throat> but anyway, um, like I said, he made a. V oh, by the way, before I start, um, if you guys want to check out the, um review that I did yesterday you can click the link down in the description box for that and uh, it'll probably be in an annotation somewhere in the video too um, alright so let's actually get down with the video here so he made a video tough Tony he made a video um, about Randy Orton and um, some downfalls that TNA would ha basically have if they got Randy Orton obviously they would have to pay him a multi-million dollar contract like kinda like how they have to give Hogan um, I think that'd just be bad for his career overall if he moves to TNA. Just come on, you know. It's like, you know, he's made him he's made a name for himself in the wrestling business at Vince's expense, and you know, at his family's expense. Cowboy Bob Orton and his grandfather. What was it? I forgot the other one. I don't remember. Love how my phone's going off. Um, no, uh, he made a Barry O. Uh, that's what it was, and uh, his grandfather and his father. Um, Cowboy Bob Orton, you know, they made a, uh, name for him in WWE, so, you know, why would he try and go make a name for himself somewhere else when, and, you know, wrestling fans already know who he is, and plus, you know, you know, paying him multi-million dollars to see him fight people he's already faced, I mean, come on, I think the only original match he'd ever have was Randy Orton versus AJ Styles, and I think that'd be the only good match. He's had feuds with Jeff Hardy in the past. He's had feuds with Kurt Angle in the past. Mr. Anderson, oh, we already have, know the history between them about how Randy Orton got Mr. Kennedy fired from WWE. So do we really need a backstage politics guy like Randy Orton to join a roster that has no problems with it whatsoever? I mean, come on, it's not like, you know, the dirt sheets are going to start saying, oh, Kurt Angle got fined for $50,000 because he made fun of Randy Orton in the back, and Randy Orton went to management and he complained about it, and Kurt Angle ended up getting suspended and then got fined $15,000. It's like, do we need a backstage politics guy like him for this show who's honestly already doing in my honest opinion is actually doing better than WWE right now but that's just me um <clears throat> what else like I said he's already made a name for himself in WWE so it wouldn't make sense like I said to try and make him get a name for himself at TNA's expense and then try and be bigger than the company itself um it's it's surprising that you know these rumors would even, you know, if if you think about it, it makes absolutely no sense. I don't think TNA would even be able to afford him. If he did be there, I would understand he wouldn't probably like his position in the company, which honestly I don't think he likes now. Um, he already says he wants to be a heel, and yet, you know, look at the heel, look at the uh, the heel roster on TNA. We got what Chris Daniels and Kazarian as like the main heels. Come on, or and Bobby Roode, but that that slowly moving into the uh the mid card him and Austin Aries but just I don't know I don't know where these rumors came from you know just overall I just don't understand it I just really don't understand the rumors I don't understand the talk and you know if T if Randy Orton decided to move to TNA for reasons we don't know about I don't care I mean it's his decision but you know WWE would have to uh you know take time out of their day oh god i don't think they'll i don't think they do that they have to take out time out of their day to do what they dread the most and that's to build new stars they're gonna have to build a new star to up to randy orton's um like randy orton status basically but not you know obviously like not how he is backstage but anyway i just honestly if he moved to tna i think it would ruin his career in WWE or his wrestling career in general 
but you know, it might save it at the same time. It might save TNA if TNA isn't saving itself already. And you know, I think that's all I have to say about it. I think um, I don't think I, I don't think I have anything else I have to say about this topic. Um, Orton going to TNA, I just think would be a stupid idea. But of course, at the end of the day, it's his decision. He can quit. T he can quit WWE if he wants to, but. In my humble opinion, if he does it, he will fuck himself into an early grave. He will just go down six feet under. Just it'll ruin his wrestling career. Is basically what I'm saying. Is if he ruins the t if he goes to TNA, he's already a big name in WWE. There's no point in trying to make yourself a big name in another company. Um, I think that's about it. I don't want to um, rush you guys out of time. I want to make another video today. I don't know if that's going to happen, though. But if I don't get to make another video, I want to say to each and every one of you guys that's watching this video right now, happy 4th of July. I don't think I'll be able to make a video today. But if I do, I will say that, like, in the um, beginning of the video, like, I was, wa I wanted to, but I never got to say it. But, like I said, if I don't make a video from here on from tomorrow um i want to say happy thanks i almost said happy thanksgiving oh geez um happy fourth of july to you know each and every one of you guys um i understand you know it's probably what what the fifth of july or something somewhere in the west coast right now but well of the world not the united states i'd obviously know that but whatever but um like i said if you guys uh if i if i don't make a video from here to tomorrow i want to say happy fourth of july um if Randy Orton, like I said, moves to TNA, it'll ruin his wrestling career, and I think that's all I have to say. Um, if you guys have any thoughts on this topic, you can click the uh, uh, go leave a comment down there. How about subscribing and uh, leaving a little like here? Uh, really like, uh, really helps me out. Really thanks. Uh, you know, makes me th makes me know you care basically, and uh, you know you can add to your favorites if you want to. I I would recommend doing so, but you know at the end of the day, it's just me. Um, like I said, this was a video response to Tough Tony ANT. You can subscribe to him by clicking the link down in the description box. And I will see you guys in the next video. I don't know when that will be, but um, check out my latest new channel. I can't believe I'm doing all these plugs, and it's two minutes after the video is supposed to be over. But um, check out the uh, new channel that I made. It's the PTE News V1, and where I'm basically just going to give you guys my news you know thoughts on news and everything and uh, trust me it's not going to be a video every hour like some people on here wink wink all right um anyway i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure you like i said leave a comment down below give me your thoughts on if tn or if uh, randy orton went to tna also leave the video a like and add it to your favorites and how about clicking that subscribe button up there thank you guys very much it helps me out a lot join the chain gang today and i will see you guys later perry the entertainer signing off and peace out i'll see you guys in the next video